Having an item target or point at another item can be very useful in all sorts of things like character rigs and mechanical setups and even camera work or uh, lighting work. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've got uh, in this character rig, I've got the two eyes targeting this null. So watch as I, I'm going to get it in a little closer so I can then zoom in and watch as I move the null around, the eyes are always following it. So when you're doing a character animation, it'd be really easy to know where the eyes are going to be looking and you don't have to manually animate each eye. You can go in and just move this null around and wherever the null is, these eyes are going to want to follow it. Okay, So that's one example of, of using the target item option and let's go ahead and see how do we set up using target item and then we'll take a, a look at a couple uses for it. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this scene out and let's add a null and I'm just going to call this uh, target. Okay, And a really useful um, uh, setup for using target item is camera work. So I'm going to select my camera, hit M for motion options and it says target item and in the list will be all the items in the scene and I'm going to have it target the target null. Okay, So now you can see the, the dotted line that connects the camera to the, to the null and no matter where I move, let's um, animate, I'm not rotating by the way, I'm just moving. No matter where I move the camera, it's always going to point at the null. Okay, So I'm just going to set a few keyframes. I'm not having to rotate anything. I'm just translating. I'm just moving in the X, Y, and Z. Okay. So now as the camera moves, it's always pointing at the null. This can be really useful when uh, setting up your camera work, when setting up your camera animation. If you want to always make it target an item, uh, using target item works pretty good. It'll always point at that item. Same with lights. If you always want a light to be pointing at um, uh, a certain item and you don't want to have to keep going into the light view to see am I pointing at that, just hit M for motion options, target item, and we'll um, target the target. Okay. So no matter where you move, I'm going to move the light back here and down. See, no matter where I move it, that light is going to be pointing at it. Okay, Let's take a look at one more example. I'm going to go ahead and clear this scene out and let's look over in Modeler. Uh, Curtis Harris built this uh, nice little mechanical hydraulic setup and let's see how we can use targeting to to make this work. I'm going to send this, it's um, four layers, four different pieces, and I'm going to send this over to Layout. Now one thing that you'll want to keep in mind is you're going to want your items pointing down the positive Z uh, in order for targeting to, to work properly. So that's why this uh, piece is, is pointing in the, the opposite direction that you'd uh, assume it would need to be. Okay. So for starters, I want whenever I rotate this item, I want this to go with it. So I just need to parent that. Okay. And this is in layer one. This is layer three. So I'm going to parent layer three to layer one. Okay. When I rotate this, I want that to go with it. But I want this hydraulic setup to, to work properly. So what I'm going to do is, this is layer 2 and this is layer 3. So M for motion options and I'm going to have it target layer 2. You can see it already changed, it's already pointing at, um, at layer 2 here. And I want layer 2 to point at layer 3. So M for motion options and I'm going to parent it, or sorry, target it to layer 3. And now it's targeting. It's wanting to point at the pivot point which is back here and this pivot point is back here. So I don't need to bother rotating these at all for my animation. I can just rotate this main piece here and because those two pieces are targeting each other they're going to allow the hydraulic setup here to work. So this is just a quick look at using targeting for a mechanical setup. Um, we've already seen it for uh, working with eyes to work with a um, with a character rig to have the eyes track the, the null and uh, we've also seen it working with 
uh, cameras and lights. So again, you just set that option in the motion options panel under target item. 